Welcome to the Cedar sinai GM Motility Clinic. This video will show you an esophageal manometry procedure. This procedure is for people who have problems swallowing. During the procedure, a manometry catheter goes to the nose into the esophagus. The person who's having the procedure will be awake. This video will show Mr. Rizai having the esophageal manometry procedure. We will start with Mr. Rizai meets our clinical care associate. Follow him as our nurse gets him ready and teaches him about the procedure. It will also show the doctor doing the procedure. Please note that different people may have different experiences. What you're about to watch may or may not reflect how your actual manometry experience may be. Hey, good morning, Mr. Rizai. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. My name is Jason. I'm the clinical care associate. I'm going to be taking you to a procedure today. Thank you, Jason. Let's go this way. Good morning, Mr. Rizai. My name is Vicki. I'm one of the registered nurses in the unit, and I'm here to help you with your esophageal manometry procedure today. Thank Why you, Vicki. Why don't you have a seat here on a stretcher? Okay. And I will give you a a gown to put on to put over your clothes. Have you followed the instructions of not eating or drinking after midnight? Yes, my last meal was last night at 7.30 p.m. Okay, here is the gown and it will protect your clothes. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you about the esophageal manometry procedure. First, I will put some lidocaine jelly in one of your nostrils. This will make it numb and lubricated. You might feel tingling or burning, but this will go away after a couple of minutes. Okay, do I have to do anything or turn my head? No. Just keep your head in a normal, neutral position. Neutral means that your chin is not, isn't too high mm -hmm. or too low. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I explain this in a way that you understand. Please tell me in your own words what will happen when I put the lidocaine jelly in your nostril. You're going to numb my nose. It's going to burn. I'm not sure what tingling means, but then I'm, then I'm going to keep my chin straight. Not too low, not too high. Okay. Tingling means feeling little prickles, like when your fingers and toes get cold. This feeling should go away in a couple of minutes. Okay. Dr. Kishisha will be doing the procedure today. She will put the manometry catheter into your numb nostril, and then she will ask you to swallow water. Swallowing water will help the manometry catheter go into the esophagus. Okay, I understand. Are you going to be with me throughout the procedure? Yes, I will be here to guide you. When the catheter is in the right place, Dr. Pishisho will ask you not to swallow for 30 seconds. Okay, now, please tell me in your own words what happens with the manometry catheter. So Dr. Pishisho is going to place the catheter into my nose, into my esophagus, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take 10 sips of swallow. But I don't know what esophagus is. Okay. Swallowing the water helps the manometry catheter go down your throat into your esophagus. The esophagus is part of the tube that carries food and water from your mouth to your stomach. Next, the doctor will ask you to sip salt water and swallow. You will sip and swallow about 10 times. Some people need to sip and swallow more than 10 times. Dr. Pishisho may ask you to swallow applesauce or crackers. After the test is finished, I will take out the catheter. In your own words, tell me what happens when you are sipping and swallowing water. I'm going to take sips of water and how big the sip of water should be? A sip is a small mouthful. You will use a straw. Okay, I'm going to use a straw to sip, to sip water. I'm going to do that 10 times and then Dr. Pichetra is going to take it out. Yes, and you might need to sip and swallow more than 10 times. Also, you might need to swallow applesauce or crackers. In a few minutes, the doctor will come in and talk to you some more, and then she will start the procedure. Do you have any questions? No. Hi. Dr. Kishichuk, I'll be doing your esophageal manometry today. How are you? Okay, a bit anxious. Being anxious is normal, especially when you're doing something new. We will tell you what to do and talk you through this. The procedure, for most people, takes about five minutes. Waiting is the hardest part. Dr. Goodman sent you here because of trouble swallowing, is that right? Yes, for the last three years I've had trouble swallowing. Mostly with meat, but sometimes with pills. The food gets stuck here. Does it hurt to swallow or do you feel like there's a lump in your throat? 
No, but uh, I've had reflux and indigestion for the last three years. I've been on hardware medications for one uh, year, but they have been they stopped working. I see. Well, this test is called high resolution esophageal manometry. This is the manometry catheter. It has sensors that measure pressures in your esophagus. Do you have any questions before you start? No, I'm good to go. Okay, I'm going to take the swab out of your nostril and put the catheter in. Okay. I'll ask you to drink water when the catheter is in the back of your throat. You don't need to take big sips, just enough to get the catheter down. Normal neutral position for now. Now tilt your chin down, take some small sips of water and swallow. Here's the water. Job. The catheter is in. You can lift your chin to a normal position now. And you, we're at 55 centimeters. Okay, for now for 30 seconds, please do not talk or swallow. You can keep your mouth open. It might help you not swallow. We are done with the first part. You can relax and swallow if you need to. Next, you will sip and swallow water. Each time, Vicki will give you a cup of water with a straw. You will sip and swallow about 10 times. I will count each time. Okay. Vicki, go ahead with sip, swallow one. Okay, take a small sip and swallow. Sip, swallow two. Sip, swallow three. Ten. You're all done. I'm going to take the catheter out. Please hold still. Would you like help taking off your gown? No, I got it. What do I do now? Within the next two days, we will send a copy of the manometry report to Dr. Goodman. You will talk to Dr. Goodman about the next steps. Do you have any questions at this time? Do I do anything different right now? Do I eat or drink? You can eat and drink and take all your medications. Okay, thank you so much.